SDS Aron Coney Day in at computers.com otro video para ti hoy. Oh, oofta. Just somebody has just distracted me. It's like it never fails as soon as I'm about to record a fucking video. Sure enough. I'm not saying it's intentional, it's just another fucking printer problem. I have. How many do I have in my queue? I think I had 86. Man, I probably have 70 left. This is going to be a very long year. I'm going to be angry for the rest of this year, at least, for the foreseeable future. Oh, I just thought of something. In the future, as I fix more of these computer problems, most of them are printers, a high percentage, I'm just going to be making print video after video after video after video fixing dumb shit printer problems pro problemos do you like my shirt do you like my shirt do you like the checkerboard do you like the checkerboard do you like it it's kind of it's kind of yeah yeah it's kind of like a checkerboard but i'm not a freemason fuck the freemasons oh oh and fuck the jesuits and fuck the knights of Columbus and the Knights of, Colum of Malta. The secret society clowns is what I'm referring to. I'm delaying. I'm using stall tactics. I really don't want to make the 20th video pertaining to a printer problem in the last month. I just... Here we go again. Let's cut to the chase verbatim. Whenever I try to set up my TR8500, I go through the setup instructions and until it says, quote, printer located, unquote, and, quote, setup complete, unquote. Then when I try to actually print something, all I get is, quote, printer not connected. I have a MacBook Pro with the latest operating system. Well, that that's uh, a generalized term that means absolutely nothing. The latest operating system, well, the latest Mac operating system 10 years ago was, you know, not the latest operating system now. They are trying to print wirelessly. Stick around for my personal synopsis regarding wireless printing. Here's, I'll just be fucking blunt. Don't, just don't waste your time. If you're not if you're technology lacking, don't fuck with wireless printing. They were using Mojave 10.14.1, also known as the latest operating system, Mac operating system, but in 10 years, it's not going to be the latest Mac operating system. I'm an asshole. I'm a bastard. I demand specifics. I want continuity income. I mean... I want continual, s specific, succinct information, not generalizations when I troubleshoot computer problems. Here's the solution. This is on a Macintosh computer. I don't have a Macintosh. I can't demonstrate. I'm working on obtaining one. I'm not wealthy, and I'm not looking your, for your pity. I make very little money making these videos. I only make couple hundred bucks a month that's it I don't make any money off this channel via affiliate marketing or you know bling bling or patreon or sponsors or you know no because YouTube is rigged and so I will always be poor and destitute <laughs> and I will always be angry and yelling and screaming and perplexed and outraged and every other abstract concept ever dealing with frustration anger and etc ad nauseum and infinitum on a Macintosh you remove the printer software so go into applications on a Macintosh I cannot demonstrate I would not want to demonstrate Macintosh computers are dumbed down they're the dumbest computers manufactured they're far dumber than wind blows and very, 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 very far dumb compared to Linux. If you do not know how to use computers, get training or give it up. 
You're not smart enough. You're not intelligent enough. Quit fooling yourself. Quit lying to yourself. It's 2019. If an idiot and a moron and an imbecile and a mental midget like myself learned technology decades ago, anybody can learn it. Especially nowadays. No excuses. You use Finder to get into applications. Well, Windows also has applications folder. You know what I'm saying? And so it's so easy. So go into applications using Finder and look for the uh, TR8500. It's a Canon Pixma. I don't know every printer model ever manufactured. Fuck you. I mean, double fuck you. You really think I should know every printer model by heart? I'm not a YouTube technology shill that lies to you and claims that I'm omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent when I'm not. So, dislike this video because I did not know the printer manufacturer. I could have looked it up, but I was like, yeah. And do not comment because you cannot and don't fucking waste your time subscribing being to my YouTube channel because I'm not going to kiss your ass. I'm not going to massage your shoulders. I'm not going to pander you, but I may propagandize. I mean, once you remove the software, double check and go into, guess what? Printers and scanners. Oh, well, that's right. Microsoft, Microship, Microcrap. Wind blows the operating system also has printers and scanners. Well, that might be by design. Have you noticed the similarities between the operating systems? I'm talking about specific similarities. I don't think it's an accident. M Macintosh also has a downloads folder, just like Wind blows. And so, well, Microsoft funds Apple, and that's a fact. There is no competition. So, browse to printers and scanners. Go to system properties. Oh, oh, there we go again. Macintosh operating system also has system properties. And there's a lot of noise out here. Well, there's some noise out here in the hallway as I'm recording a video. It never fails. And that testimony is captured. And then when I upload it, my YouTube audience listens to the perplexion in my voice. System properties. If you do not know where system properties on a Macintosh, stop right now. Stop. Go pay f if you have to pay for it. I know, but I know you're a cheapskate American. You're a stingy motherfucker that will not pay for proper computer training. And I don't feel sorry for you when you run into problems. There's plenty of avenues. There's plenty of places to obtain proper computer training. No excuses. If you do not know where system properties on a Macintosh so that you can go to printers and scanners. Or if you do not know how to use Finder and type it into the goddamn fucking search box in the upper right hand corner. Make sure your printer is listed or not. If it's not listed, you're all good. If it's listed, remove it. Similar to Windblow's operating system. For whatever reason, sometimes when you remove the printer software, it doesn't remove the printer from you know, devices and printers on wind blows or printers and scanners on wind blows. On Macintosh, same thing, same problem. I don't know why that is. Sometimes it removes it from printers and scanners after you remove the software. It's supposed to. When you remove the printer software, part of the installation, part of the removal process is that it's supposed to remove the printer entirely from your Macintosh computer. It does not always. So double check. In order to remove a printer, you click minus. It's self-explanatory. When you go into printers and scanners on Macintosh, there's a plus sign and the minus sign. You just click on the printer to select it, and you choose plus or minus or whatever. Just click plus and your printer will disappear. Well, no, it's self-explanatory. Get it? It's plus to add, as in mathematics. Minus to remove. It's self-explanatory. You, you don't need computer training. I'm not trained. I, I'm self-taught, and I'm not full of shit. I dropped out of college. I was trying to obtain my computer information systems degree, 
and then basically just gave up on college and but I did try to go back and get my computer science degree but nah you know what the problem was I was dating a feminazi feminist American female and just I just gave up on I almost gave up on life but you know somehow I survived and now I'm just a fucking mentally ill computer technician just making one video after another printer problem printer problem printer problem printer problem well what's the problem what what where do you want to go today Aaron what's what is today's problem Aaron oh not again Aaron oh shut the fuck up Aaron I know you're gonna start complaining about printers here we go right there big time distraction big time noise here I think people walking up and down those stairs it's like they intentionally walk loud I don't know man once the printer is removed from Mac you're all good it's not like Windows you don't have to fuck with manually removing the driver now there could be a, a well you might be able to but I'm not 100% certain I think there we go again this is the third time since I've recorded this video I've heard noise And here's some more noise again. And now they're running up and up and down the stairs. Just or somebody is just going up and down the stairs like they're meth heads, drug addicts. I don't know. It was a big mistake thinking I could fucking make a living and live in hotels or no. Big mistake. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking, man. Just dumb shit. I'm just the Biggest mistake ever in my life. I think when you hit the minus sign to remove the printer from printers and scanners, it's supposed to remove the driver from your Macintosh. The Macintosh, Macintosh operating system is based off of BSD. So, and BSD tells me there's going to be command line. I just haven't looked into it. I've never really had a problem. But maybe I should look into it because not all of these removals and reinstalls work out. But this one did. All right, let's let's move on from that. So that's it. You're done. Now all you have to do is download the software that I will link to in the description box of this YouTube video. The software. Download it again. You properly remove the printer as far as I know from a Macintosh except for maybe a manual driver removal I need to study that I don't have a Macintosh see I don't even own a fucking Macintosh computer and I can support Macintosh proficiently enough I don't know all the bells and whistles I don't know every deep recesses I don't know where the back door you know the National Spy Agency's back door is on a Macintosh per se the exact folder but you know but I've used them enough and when I remotely connect in, I'm, I'm proficient enough with the Macintosh that I can figure out most, except for really complex, you know, ter, you know, terminal commands. But I don't usually go that far. And was there another? Oh, was there another tip? This clown, th this buffoon had problems. Oh yeah, yeah. This this computer clown buffoon. I don't know what their problem was. They had problems with following my instructions, or I don't know, mental midgets or whatever. Just give it up. Give it up. Here's my tip: If you're not computer proficient, just admit it. Admit when you're wrong. Admit when you're not proficient. Admit when you're dumb, stupid, idiot, moron, imbecile, mental midget, dumbass, etc. Just admit it. Go out now and obtain proper computer training. There are books, videos for free. You could probably go to your local library and check out some how to use a computer books, how to use Windblows operating system, how to use Mac and Crap operating system. You know what I'm saying? And or you can go to community college or you could call your local computer repair technician and get lied to and and then bent over and sodomized I mean no you could ask them if they provide computer training you could just call them up and say I don't know what the fuck I'm doing I'm an idiot or moron I don't know anything about a Macintosh computer I have a five thousand dollar MacBook Pro but I just I'm stupid and do you think you could teach me how to use it 
and then the computer technician apropos would laugh at you and you know, <laughs> he or she should laugh at you and they should you know utter some ad hominem towards your way but they'll probably kiss your ass and they'll you know be all nice to you and oh I'm sorry to hear that well no nah, I'm different I'm not an asshole when you call me unless you're somebody that I don't know and you shouldn't be calling me but I, yeah, I don't generally kiss people's ass to the point where oh, I'm, I'm, I feel sorry for you. Oh, that's terrible. I'm so sorry that you can afford a $10,000 Macintosh, but you don't know how to use it. I'm so sorry. I just, uh, well, I can come to your place now. I won't charge much, I promise. It'll only be $20. If you're not technically knowledgeable, just keep it simple, stupid, kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. This irritates me to no end when I have to communicate with another computer clown. And guess what? Oh, they want me to help them reinstall their printer. And then they, they tell me, oh, because I, I asked, well, how is the printer connected? That's very important. Is it connected via universal serial bus cable or an Ethernet cable or is it wireless? And they proclaim and exclaim in all caps at times, wireless. And I'm like, oh, well, that, well, that should tell me that this computer buffoon, I mean, this computer clown is knowledgeable with computers if they dare try to connect it via wireless. Well, guess what? A high percentage, these clowns don't know shit. They don't know what the fuck. Oh, I don't even think they know what a wireless router looks like. Being honest. They don't know where the WPS button is. They think it's on the wireless router. Wrong. It, it's on the internet router. Not all of them have a WPS button. A high percentage of times that I have to help these clowns connect their wireless printer to their wireless router, it turns into a quagmire. I'm, I'm talking if I remotely connect or if I'm on the phone or if I'm tightened back and forth. As soon, and it's like, it never fails. I wake up one day and I'm like, oh, today's going to be a good day. I know I'm going to have to fix some printer issues. And then, oh, I start my day off and I'm like, well, wow, looks like I'm going to make a lot of money today. Wrong guaranteed wrong wrong i remotely connect to their computer i complete all my work and then when it comes time to connecting their wireless router to their to their wireless printer some of them don't know what an ssid is so they don't know what their password is they don't know that they can go to the printer and go into the menu and connect to their wireless router with an SSID and password. They don't know any of that. Some of a lot of times they don't even know what the fuck their SSID and password is. It, it's no clue. You know what I have to do? I have to ask them what their router model number is. And then I have to research and then I have to try to find the default login and password. If I'm lucky, they didn't change the default password and I can open up a web browser and connect to their router. And then I can go into the Wi-Fi settings, and a, a lot of wireless routers, the, believe it or not, the password is not encrypted. It's it's in clear text, and they're very lengthy. But I show these clowns how to change the password because guess what? You want to you you see a reason why the wireless router password is so lengthy with with caps and lowercase and even sometimes special characters is because of security but these motherfuckers then when you tell them to type the password and I, they they go to the printer and their brain just explodes and they can't type in the password so what I do is I show them how to reset the password or a lot of times 
they're too stupid to do even, even that. I'm not making this up. There have been times I remotely connected and then, you know, access the print the printer, excuse me, the wireless router through a web browser and I logged in for them. And then I went to the menu and I and it's on screen. I'm looking at it, they're looking at it. And they there's a box that says type the new password in and then it says apply or save and they still I have to do it for them and I never set them a password what I do is I show them where the box is I like click on it literally with my mouse or I wave the mouse around to get their attention here enter it here and then I tell them try to set a password or try to you know I tell them Please set a password. Use something, you know, and then something you're used to or something. You know what I'm saying? And then so that they can remember it. Just. So my tip is just where's my green tea? Where's my green tea? Where's it at? Instead of drinking alcoholic beverages and just destroying my life and my health, I just drink green tea. But maybe I'm addicted to it or... Well, it doesn't have that much caffeine in it. But just the thought. Some kind of coping mechanism. Anything further, that is my big lecture on wireless. This They, they bumbled around and stumbled around and... Then I even linked a video to that. Or you know what? Is this a, a video? Oh, I, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. They didn't have to reinstall the software, but you might have to, so that's all that's all good. I don't script my videos. These clowns, I This is strange. Maybe I forgot to include that in the instructions and they still figured it out. I don't know. Who cares? Part of it, that's a link to a video. I was even nice enough to find a video. Now, some of these original equipment manufacturer of printers, they have videos now. They make how to videos, tutorial videos showing you how to set up your printer. But guess what? It does not matter. The abstract does not matter. Text does not matter. Verbal communication does not matter. Video, you know, some humans learn visually. Visual aid does not matter. People with color do not matter according to the pale skin European supremacists. I mean, I linked them to a how to video showing them how to go to the printer physically, go into the menu, access the network menu, access the wireless menu, and then physically key in the SSID and then the password. You know what I'm saying? I'm not making this shit up. They couldn't figure it out at first. And this is where these motherfuckers piss me off even more. They're arrogant. They're arrogant. This is not rocket science. Anybody can follow these. It's so simple. Printer installs is simple. And going to your printer and just keying in your SSID and passphrase and then connecting it. What the fuck? Well, do I still have it open? No, I can open it. Here it is. You you can't make this shit up. So I helped them. I gave them instructions. I linked to the video. And guess what? Here was their response. I finally got it to work. Part of it was to let the printer tell me itself. <laughs> Here we go. 
They keep coming down, up and down these damn stairs, man. I don't know what the fuck their problem is. Luckily, they're not. They're loud enough I can hear them and distract me. Part of it was to let the printer tell me itself. Yeah, I think they're doing this intentionally now. Or there's there some other fucking clowns in this hotel, man. I don't know what the fuck they're doing, dude. They just back and forth, back and forth, up the stairs, down the stairs, and then, uh, you know, thinking it's funny. They better be children. They better be under the age of, I'd say, 18. I finally got it to work. Part of it was to let the printer tell me itself. What the fuck are you talking about? I linked a video. I took the, and, and sometimes you can't find videos if you, even with internet searches, you can't. You have to, you have to browse through these printer manufacturer websites and you gotta go to the exact model. Then you gotta look for a how-to section and it's, it doesn't stop there. Then, you, then they, you're lucky if they have a video section. And then you have to go sift through the videos. It's not always search engine optimized. Some of these websites I don't think are properly search engine optimized. And then you must realize that video, uh, trying to search engine optimize a video is different because it, it lacks text. So I spent time digging through the molasses and found a video showing them how to connect the wireless printer to the wireless router. You have to go to the printer. You have to look at the liquid crystal display on the printer. You have to push buttons. You have to use your fucking brain. And yet, look at what the response was. I detailed that on the customer survey. So the printer somehow communicated it to you? The printer communicated to you. It started talking to you. Here, asshole. Here, idiot. Here, moron. Click here, dumbass. Well, well, you buffoon. You haven't connected your printer to the wireless router yet. That's why you can't print. And they didn't give me a very good rating either. Well, an evaluation. They didn't give me a very good, good evaluation, but good enough for me to get compensated a bit close enough, almost close enough that I would have been robbed for the millionth time and I wouldn't have received anything for all this time I fucking spent. And what was their reaction? Well, I documented it on the customer survey. Yeah, they didn't even say thank you. This is the shit I have to put up with on this goddamn fucking website. It was their it was them. It was their problem. They don't know how to fucking use technology properly. All they had to... D oh my God. Going to a printer and going through the menus and then... Jesus fucking Christ. Printers are dumbed down. Now some of the... I don't want to talk about laser jet printers and the corporate ones and the big commercial ones. Yeah, their menus just like... You just click, 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 and they got, you know, menu after menu after menu with verbiage that you'll never understand. But an average inkjet printer, come on, they're dumb. They have to be dumbed down. Here, here they come out again. Here, here they are. That's about the tenth time that door is shut now. I'm not making this shit up. Since I've been recording this video, this door right here has been open about ten fucking times. So my tip is don't fuck with wireless printing unless you know what you're doing. But you know how Americans are. I finally got it to work. Part of it was to let the printer tell me itself. I detailed on the customer survey. So they didn't mention any of my help. If it wasn't for me, these fucking morons would still be fucking around with their whatever. They would still be looking at the printer, waiting for the printer to talk to them, I guess. Adios.